I do. I mean, I, I think that we've made great progress over my time here. Um, and I think the last few years, we've been very good. I mean, last year we had a little bit of a setback, uh, which was out of our control, but that happens sometimes. And uh, I'm always a believer that that makes you stronger. And I, I, I truly believe that this is the most talented team that we've had on paper. Uh, it's by far the deepest team that we've had. Uh, but I think what sets this team apart is they compete and they understand our values of heart. And so when you come and watch them, it's going to be a team that you're going to be proud of watching, not just because they're going to win games, but because they're going to do it the right way. Well, I think efforts of our recruiting. I mean, um, you know, we've, we've put a lot of time and effort in recruiting the state and recruiting the region. And uh, after, after time, that's paid off. And we've been able to attract some really great in-state kids either on the front end or we brought in, you know, a couple Carolina kids on the back end, you know, off of transfers. And, um, you know, I think that speaks loudly to my staff and the job that they've done. Um, but I also think, you know, we found, the, like I said, the right kids are key. I mean, not only are they talented in terms of how they are as basketball players, they're, they're, like I said, they're great kids and they believe in what we're doing here. And I think that, you know, that's how you become a championship team. It's not just having great players, but they have to believe in the process and believe in what we're doing and believe in our values. And every single one of these kids top to bottom do. Uh, sure, I think, you know, obviously coming back, we have Laya, first team all conference, uh, Octavia coming off an all freshman um, team debut last year. Uh, Mariah Lenny was also a freshman that was very impactful for us uh, last year. So I think those three are probably uh, maybe the most recognizable, but I do think some of our other returners have done a fantastic job this summer. Uh, Kenesha Brown didn't play much for us all last year as a JUCO transfer, has had a fantastic summer. Uh, so we expect a lot out of her uh, at the center position. Lauren Harley is a junior now and uh, got some experience last year for us, um, but had an ankle injury that kind of took her out of conference play. And uh, she's had an incredible summer and played very well in our games over in Spain. Um, in terms of our newcomers, we have two transfers uh, who are going to be extremely impactful. Jade Phillips came to us from Syracuse, sat out and practiced every day for us last year. So she understands the system. Um, and she's very, very hungry to be able to play. And then Christian Height is a redshirt sophomore um, from Columbia. She was at UCF. Now she sat out last year, uh, not just by transfer rules, but also by injury. So she's taken still a little bit to get comfortable, but uh, both of those young ladies are gonna be extremely impactful for us. And then of course, lastly, is our freshman class, um, who's very, very highly touted freshman class, as they should be. Uh, those four have come in and dramatically changed our team, which, is very impressive for freshmen to do. They played well in our games in Spain. Uh, Jasmine Harris is a center uh, who will be competing probably for starting spot in lots of minutes. Um, Maddie Moore can play the two, three, four, five for us. I'm gonna have my Golden State death lineup with her at the five, I'm pretty excited about. Um, and then uh, of course we have two guards and Jada McMillian who is a pure point guard and will play this year but also take over the reins for us as point guard moving forward and uh, Rena Green, a product out of uh, Charlotte. So we're happy to have her a great scorer, great kid for us. Well, I, I do think we're, we have a lot of punch offensively, but this might be the best defensive team we've had. I mean, we've got some kids that want to play defense, which let's just be honest, that's part of it. You know, like you could teach defense, you can push defense, but you have to have some kids that, that want it, you know, and they want to get up into your grill and make some plays. And so our athleticism is, is really high, but uh, you have kids that have that want. And I think, you know, I think offensively we're going to be able to score. I really do. Um, I think we're going to be tremendously fast. Uh, but I, I do think the difference with this team is we're going to be able to hopefully get stops when we really need to have them. I think we all are very excited for today. It's our first practice, official practice. And, yeah, I think we're ready. I think we can be pretty good. Um, our chemistry in the court is amazing. And, and yeah, we're all very excited. Yeah, definitely. I feel like um, I'm more comfortable communicating with my teammates and talking to them and teach them too. And yeah, I feel a lot better. Um, I think we are going to run the floor really well, uh, especially transition. And our posts are really good too. So both transition and um, pain game. Um, it takes hard work and dedication, um, not just practice when you're like when you have to, when it's mandatory, but we have to put in our own work on our own time to get where we want to be. I got in the gym because I had surgery on my wrist um, the end of last season, so I got in the gym more to try to get my shot back and um, and my confidence level. When I work on my own, I, 
I gain confidence and that helps me in the games. Um, the team strengths, I feel like we'll be really deep this year. Um, so the substitutions will be like we won't miss a like we won't miss anything uh, when subs come in or when the bench comes in, and um, we'll be guard heavy. So I'm I'm just really excited about this year.